guys, it's Feline. So today we're gonna be doing another AliExpress haul, but today we are actually only gonna be showing you what I got from one store, just because I feel like I got quite a lot of stuff from the store, and I don't want to bore you guys to death, you know, for with another 30 minute video. But this is a store that I have bought from, you know, before, and I really highly recommend them. I will go ahead and put their link in the description down below, so you guys can go ahead and check it out too. Also, if you guys like this type of video, you know, please subscribe to my channel because I will be doing more of, you know, different hauls from Michaels, AliExpress, and I will be coming out with new um, videos on how I pretty much utilize all the, you know, washi stickers to basically make create a layout in my journals and planner so you know which whatever um I basically use it on I haven't really quite figured it out yet I have an idea but we're gonna see how that goes so without further ado let me show you what I got so it's all in this little packet right here of course you guys know I gotta have washi can never have enough washi <laughs> there's this and then I got I also bought a lot of stickers from them Bam. Okay, so let's go through. Should we go through? Let's go through washi first. So let's set this aside. My trusty notebook right here. So the first washi I'm gonna show you guys is this Chinese lantern washi. So this is a continuing or continuous washi. It doesn't have a like a break in the lines or anything or break in the uh, decoration design. Oh wait, it does. Right here. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. But you know, you can definitely just kind of trim it right here by the wire, and then you could definitely just kind of like attach it to another section or something. But I love it. I love anything that kind of goes on top of a design, like of a layout, and that goes on the bottom. So it kind of creates like a bit of like a border to your to your scenery, and that's why I really love those type of washies. So that's my little lantern right here. The next wash I'm going to show you, you know, since we're talking about it, um, are these flower washies. So this will be going at the bottom of usually my designs. I, would, I love to use um, kind of like a ground for all my characters to stand in because I feel like it just makes everything come together a lot better. So this is just kind of like a purple flower field with butterflies in them. Ooh, very pretty. Oops. Love this. Super, super pastel, all watercolor. So as you guys tell, can tell, I tend to go for more like watercolor style washies just because I feel they're very soft. And then like more realistic um, washies too, rather than like really cartoony characters or cartoony style, I guess if you want to call it. Okay, so there's that one. And my next, I would say like my floor washi is this flower fence. Oh, here's the top of it. Here you go. So it's pretty much the same design throughout the whole roll. I'm just going to lay it down. And like I said, love these washies. Alright, so this is the background, so I'm going to finish it. Alright, so on to the next washi. So the next washi is kind of like a, what does it say? It says beautiful home in memories. Sure. <laughs> but pretty much it's another character washi, kind of like more like manga anime uh, style. Okay, I'll try to open this. So let's see how many characters this washi provides us. So this washi gives us one, two, three, Four, five, 
right? Yeah. So you get five characters from this washi. So let me go ahead and lay them out for you guys, or lay a few out. So one thing I have to say is, let's say that you want to use this washi or this girl in front of this washi right here. Because this background washi is so dark, if you put the character over that background like straight on it, you're gonna get the shadow effect. So you can't you see that? You can't really see very well. So what would you have or what you have to do is you basically put this on a piece of paper and then go ahead and cut out the character and then put it on top of here so you don't get that see-through effect. So that is how you pretty much to do a washi on top of washi um, scenery when it has to do with like a character. I haven't tried much of anything else, but when I, whenever I do characters, especially on the area where there's dark background, I just go ahead and put it over it. But if you, let's say for this flower, um, if you want the flower in the foreground, then you basically just kind of put the washi over it and then you kind of just cut it around the flower. So the flower would be, eh, how do I do this? The flower would be in front of your character. So then you wouldn't have to do the whole, you know, putting or well, cutting out the character on top of a paper. Do you guys get me? I don't know. <laughs> like I said, um, when I do my layouts, you guys will kind of understand a little bit more. But let's go back to showing you guys what everything kind of looks like instead of talking about it. I'm just gonna put a few on here just so you guys can kind of see. So this one kind of, she's more like laying down like this. Very cute. So the next washi is gonna be these two. So these two washies and the girl washi, they're in the same set. Um, so yeah, they all pretty much match uh, match each other. So they go, go together very well. So this one is a bubble washi. Also another uh, great washi for like background, like background design and everything. Super cute. And then the next one is this bird one. Right here. So, yeah, I chose this just because it had a lot of different sizes in the bird and it's not so detailed, so it's very, you know, very neutral to a lot of, you know, layouts that you want to do because it's not very specific. But like you get so many different birds in different designs and sizes. I think, yeah, I think it's I'm still going. Look at that. Okay, so I think that's that's the end right there. So you get, so you actually get quite a few different type of um, bird layouts or bird uh, outlines. So that's really good. Put this right here. Alright, so this is the last washi that I got from their store. It, they look like cherry blossoms, but I don't think they're actually they're cherry blossoms. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure exactly what flower they are, but they are super pretty. And I feel like it's just, it's also just another washi that will make great background. Let's see, you have different type of flower patterns, different sizes. Very pretty. All right, so I think that is pretty much it for the washi from the store. And now let's go ahead and move on to stickers. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is this super cute penguin sticker. Look at this guy. It, it's very watercolor feel to it. Not much harsh lines, which is what I actually kind of like. Because a lot of my other character like stickers like this, they have a very harsh like line. But this is very this one has very soft lines, very watercolor feel to it. And look at these guys, how cute! 
this a penguin hitting a bear or bugging a bear? Oh my gosh. And then you have a little girl penguin. Super cute, aww. Yeah, a lot of different emotions. We'll do great for journaling and stuff like that. Oh, look at this fat penguin. Oh my God, it's so cute. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Okay, so the next sticker I'm gonna show you is are these planet stickers. I actually thought that they'd be a lot smaller, but these guys are huge. But it's still very pretty. So these are not acetate stickers, so they do not have a clear background. The texture to this is more like a washi, I would say. But look at how pretty this is. It's pretty much, it's, yeah, it's watercolor planets, I guess you wanna say. Super pretty, look at that. So cute. So of course, you know, it, if you're putting this on like a white piece of um, paper, the white part is definitely gonna, you know, go away. So you usually won't see a border. But like I said, the texture is more like kind of like a washy texture, I would say. Oh, so pretty. Very nice. So the next sticker I'm gonna show you are these character stickers. So the description on this sticker is called Confused Little Couple. All right. So let's go ahead and take it out. So I'm pretty sure there's about six, um, but I'm sorry, not. Sorry. I can't talk right now anymore. I think I'm getting tired, but I'm pretty sure there's about six sticker sheets because that's usually the uh, numbers they come in. And I'll show you guys all of them. So this is the first one. So like I said, this is called Confused Couple. Or, yeah, Confused Little Couple. So really cute. Sad, then she's happy, then she's sad again, then they're in love. <laughs> yeah, so there's a lot of different emotions in these stickers, and that's why I love about it because, come on, you know, we go through a lot of emotions through, throughout each day, and then I love to use these stickers to kind of sh um, show how I feel at the moment. And I, I love how this is actually like couple because. I think I only have one other sticker set where there where it's a couple theme. So yeah, this is gonna be great because now I can actually include my boyfriend in my layouts, so to speak. <laughs> All right. So again, this is the confused little couple um, diary stickers. So next sticker I'm gonna show you. I really don't know the name of these, but I think they were all pretty much, they might be in like the same sales page. The store name that I bought all these from is House of Novelty Official Store. I'm just gonna go ahead and link their um, shop link in the description down below. And then, you know, just go ahead and browse through their sticker sections and most likely you guys will find these. And again, like I said, I can't guarantee that they will still have all this stuff in stock. So that's why I don't really link the individual item. But if you do ask and say you can't find it, I will try and find it for you guys and try to help you out. So yeah, just go and leave a comment down below um, and, I can, and I'll do my best to pretty much help you guys, okay? So this one is, is very metallic with pink. The texture is pretty much like washy texture. So, oh, I love this. This is super cute. I don't know if you guys can see it. I know the glare of my lights make it hard sometimes. But look at that. Super cute. So there's that one. The next one is this flower one. Not much of a name. But let's take a look inside. So just different flowers because you can never get enough 
flower stickers. <laughs> and I think these uh, these uh, sticker sheets are actually pretty sh cheap. Maybe like a dollar and you get, you know, three sheets. So I find um, when I find these type of uh, sticker packs, I say they're pretty they're pretty worth it. Okay, another one is another another like geometric design. So they, so apparently, I guess this brand you get about three stickers, or three sticker sheets. So there's different shapes, shapes and colors. Ooh, I love this. So this is kind of like, kind of like alchemy. I don't know. Just yeah, they're like alchemy or tarot card like designs. So I thought this is really cool. I love this one. It's my favorite probably out of this whole pack. And zodiac signs. Very cute. Okay, so we have about three more. The next one I got is this. So this is actually one of their new products that is out right now. And I, I guess they're starting to come out with a lot of sticker sheet where the, the texture or the fabric they use is like washi fabric instead of like a gloss sticker. So it's very matte. It's matte, so it's not shiny. So this one is kind of more like a winter, winter woodland theme. Cause I, well, actually, I think they have different types. So there's bunnies. Then there's something about for the winter. Then maybe this represents fall. No, still kind of winter. Oh yeah, this is winter. <laughs> Holly jolly. There you go, guys. Okay, this is a winter, uh, winter theme. And then you have this. This is so not winter. So I guess it's a mixture. But it's super cute. I love it. So this one you actually get six. Six sticker sheets. And like I said, this is maybe like a dollar and eighteen cents, so it's definitely worth it. And this is the background for it. So the next thing I got are these whale stickers, but they're kind of like space. Space themed whales. So they're really cool. Let me see. So they're not like a real a realistic drawing. They're more like the outline of the whales, but then they're colored in as like the unit like the space. Space background, I guess you wanna say. But they're super cute. Love these. And then those there there's also some outlines of just regular whales. And then, then there's the space colored outline of the whales. And then more space whales. I guess I just want to call them space whales. <laughs> but they're super cute. But yeah, same thing. Texture wise, these are uh, washi textured. So sometimes you can't see the cut lines, but if you just kind of peel, you peel off like that. I love these. These are so cute. All right, so this is the last sticker that I got from the store. Three, two, one. All right, so this is the last thing that I got from the store. This is kind of like more of like a shabby chic, I guess, theme. A lot of flowers, a lot of vintage um, items surrounded by flowers. So I thought this was super pretty. Let's take a look. Aw, so I guess you only get one sheet from this packet, which is okay. You know, it's not like I paid a lot of money for it, but I really wish I got more, sh like more different designs. But this is still super cute. All right, so that's pretty much it for today's haul from House of Novelty official store. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like what you see and you wanna see more of it, don't forget to click the subscribe button below. And like always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.